Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to this edition of Dose of Dave. I'm David Breslow. There's a couple things I'd like to talk with you about today. Number one, I have just started a new Facebook page and Facebook group called Copywriting Secrets for Entrepreneurs and Small Business Owners. Now, why did I do this? Because the truth is, so many of us have, uh, are running small businesses or are entrepreneurs, and we are often communicating our services and who we are through a number of means. We're either writing on web pages or sales pages or promotional material, or we are uh, recording videos, or we are doing radio interviews or presentations, like uh, live presentations, speeches, and things like that. And the truth is, 85% of the people I speak to say they are good writers. And yet, 80% of the material out there is really ineffective, and quite honestly, it's poorly done. So the truth is that you may be brilliant at what you do, but your prospective clients or customers are not seeing it in the way that you uh, communicate yourself to everybody through whatever means you do that. So I'm putting all of that under the umbrella of copywriting. And look, the reality is all of us are not good writers, okay? Many of us are, are also, I can add, writing eBooks or books to, to use as gifts and give to prospective customers and so on and so forth. And yet, many of us think we're good writers, but many of us truly aren't. Now, I learned a lot of this uh, as an actor and a screenwriter over the years where so many people who write screenplays think they're good writers, but then when it's put in front of somebody who really knows how to write, they end up learning that they're actually not too good at it. And you need to study it. It's an art. It's a craft. And most people do not naturally write effectively to have people understand who you really are and the brilliance of what you have to offer in your business. So I, I started these pages because that's something I've been doing for a while. And uh, I want to promote it more and I want to work with more people because this stuff for me jumps out off the page where other people don't see it necessarily. I don't know why that's true, but these glaring things jump out at me and hit me kind of like, like a two by four. Ouch. That didn't feel too good. It hit me like a two by four across the head. And it's just so clear to me. It's so obvious to me. There's so many things that are being done improperly. And in this video today, I want to talk to you about three of those pitfalls and three of those traps that most uh, entrepreneurs and small business owners fall into. But I want to begin first with a little, maybe a social commentary. So uh, what's up with these homemade videos that people are putting together while they're driving in their car? I don't get it. I see more and more of these things on Facebook. And it's pretty interesting to me. It's like, yeah, I'm driving in my car. Hey, I just came back from the dentist and uh, and look, oh, I had this this done. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh, look out, kid. Uh, I didn't mean to almost hit you. Uh, uh, or, hey, I'm driving in my car. I uh, just came back on my way back from the gym and, uh, you know, a really great workout. And, um, you know, I'm a little bit, a little bit ripe, but you don't have to worry about that because we're in a video. And, uh, I just wanted to send this message to you. Something I noticed in the gym kind of sparked a message that I want to I want to um, share with you. Okay, so what what are we doing here? What what is that all about? I never really understood what the what the idea of recording oneself while they're driving in the car, you know, a, a one ton machine and going 50, 60 miles an hour down a street, and we're talking into a, a video camera. What is going on with that? Okay, so that's my little social commentary for today. But what I really want to talk to you about here today are what I call the three traps, the three copywriting traps that entrepreneurs and small business owners fall into without realizing it. And these are in no particular order and these certainly are not all the things that we kind of mess up on. And I've done all, all of these things. Believe me, I've made all the mistakes and I paid the price. Um, you know, uh, a good, good content. I'm a guy that had good content. Um, I'm a guy that had a good model, good coaching model, good coaching conversation, good guy, lousy at communicating my brilliance to the general public. 
And that's what I think a lot of entrepreneurs and small business owners are facing right now. So here it is, um, pitfall or trap number one, burying the lead. We don't realize it, but people often send me their promotional material, for example, and there might be a paragraph or two paragraphs or three paragraphs, or it might be a long sales page, and I'm sifting through this, and it's really incredible that by the time I get to the second or third paragraph, there it is. They're burying the lead. The lead was right there in the second or third paragraph. That's the thing that should have been at the top of that page, but they don't have it there. So they're forcing the reader to sift through all this stuff, and you understand that most people don't really read, right? They just don't. We don't really read anymore. We're inundated with so much garbage uh, through the internet, uh, through our mail, through email, electronically. We are bombarded with people yelling at us, look at me, look at me, look at me. And so many of us, because we're running a, a small business or we are entrepreneurs, we are constantly trying to figure out tricky or slick ways to get people to pay attention to us. And usually they don't work that much. So people pay a lot of money sometimes to go to workshops to learn these things, and they still don't work that much for a lot of people. But there's an easier way to do it. You don't need to learn NLP. You don't need to learn the psychology of selling and all that stuff. Copywriting and writing and presenting yourself is much simpler than that. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in these, in these groups. So number one, burying the lead. If uh, the lead should be a, a statement at the beginning or a question at the beginning that makes me go, what? Uh, and that compels me to want to read more. But so often, people are burying that lead, that one comment, that one phrase, that one question in the second or third paragraph of their content. Big mistake, big mistake. Trap number two is what I call sloppy copy. And that is a copy that's filled with errors, uh, um, errors with uh, periods or commas or semicolons. It just looks really sloppy. Spelling errors, pronunciation errors, it's just sloppy. It's lazy. Not only that, things are not in the proper sequence because people like to read things or listen to things that have a nice sequence to them. The brain likes that. But if you're jumping all over the place in your copy, it's very difficult to follow. So that's what I call sloppy copy. And there's a, there's a sequence that you need to follow that just makes logical sense to the reader. Sloppy copy, you don't want that, you don't want that. And I've seen so much stuff out there that is written in what I would call sloppy copy format. <clears throat> Not only are there errors in, in punctuation, but there are spelling errors, like I said, and there are errors in terms of the order of things. So many times when people send me things, I have to literally rearrange the structure and the model of what they wrote. And generally, I have to also alter the actual wording and the phrasing as well. But that's something, if you don't know how to do that, it doesn't come naturally to most people. So that's what makes it difficult for the entrepreneur and the small business owner. So trap number two is sloppy copy. It's amazing how many things I've seen put out there in the world, usually through social media these days, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, how many people are willing to put out things that reflect really poorly on them. And you must be careful with that because you've got to remember you are communicating no matter what you do all the time about who you are and what your business is. And so if you're going to put sloppy things out there and you're going to you kind of, kind of bury the lead of what's really most important that you want people to react to and respond to and be compelled to, then that's just a statement about you and your company. And so without realizing it, and I did the same thing, what I was doing was turning people away. I was turning people away because if they saw these things, the assumption is, well, if they're, if they're not so good at this, they're probably not so good at what they do. And that's really unfortunate because you may be brilliant at what you do. But why wouldn't you want that brilliance to show up in the way that you communicate who you are and what you do? And wherever you do that, on a web page, on a sales page, on a promotion, on a Facebook ad, 
on a, a video, doing a, a, a radio interview where it's audio, everywhere you do this, you want to be communicating the brilliance of what you have to offer me so that when I look at you or read you or listen to you, I am compelled to do the next thing, which is what you want. You want us to do the next thing, which is pick up the phone or send you an email or click on a button on a page you sent me to, whatever it might be. You want to be compelling. And compelling is the key word to me. Most people who write screenplays are not compelling. Most people who write what is called a long line, which is their description of the screenplay in 24, 24 words or less to get a, a producer to want to know more, not compelling. When we put information out there in the world, in, in the world of information to communicate who we are and what our business is, not compelling. And when people try to be compelling, one of the other minor traps they fall into is they go overboard and try to be flashy and, you know, the used car salesman kind of thing. And it's too much. It's not them. It's not natural. It doesn't work. So those are the first two traps I want you to pay attention to. The third trap is what I call self-absorbed. You know, it's interesting. And, and Lordy, did I fall into this trap years ago when I first started. I thought everybody needed to know what I wanted to tell them. And I look at so much copy out there, no matter where it is, and people are just inundating me, <clears throat> excuse me, with all the stuff they want to tell me about them. Oh, I've been, been in business 24 years, I'm educated here, and I got a PhD in this, and I got a master's degree in this, and you know my company shows up on time, and we clean up after ourselves, and I do this, and I do that, on and on and on and on they go. So I call that selfish copy, okay? It's, it, we don't really think about the person that we're trying to communicate with, do we? We just think about, hey, I got this. I got this good stuff. I got this really unique stuff. I got this stuff that other people aren't doing, and I really, I really need to let you know about it, okay? Uh, first of all, so many people sound like a thousand other people in the same business. I can't tell you how many copy I, pieces of copy I've looked at from, a, let's say, a massage therapist or a wealth coach or a health coach or um, a chiropractor or an accountant. Kind of doesn't matter what the arena is. And they look like 10,000 other people in the same business. And I know entrepreneurs and small business owners are constantly trying to figure out, how do I make myself unique? How do I make myself not look like everybody else? Well, if you understood how to present yourself and the phrasing to use when you write copy about yourself or talk about yourself or do a video, if you understood how that works for you, you can literally put yourself out there in a way that's compelling. It's about being compelling. It's not about so much separating myself from everybody else because when I'm myself, that's good enough. And I had to learn how to write literally thinking about what you wanted, not what I wanted to tell you. That's why I call it selfish. I was more interested in telling you what I wanted to tell you, what I thought was important. But you have to understand, most people don't care. Most people didn't care about what I had to tell them. They only cared about themselves. Okay? It's selfish, but that's the way it is. We only care about ourselves. Look, when you're looking around and you're interested in, in a product or a service or some, of some kind, what do you care about? Number one, you. How is this going to help me? That's what you care about. And so much copy out there does not really address that. Or if it does, it does it so dryly and it does it so commonly like everybody else is doing that you really look like everybody else. It's like, what's the difference? Why should I contact you and not this other person? You need to represent yourself in a way that does that. So those are the three pitfalls or traps that Many entrepreneurs and small business owners fall into. There are several more. There's a good 10 or 12 of them. Uh, but these are just three that I wanted to talk about in this video. But if you look at, the, uh, there's a link I'm going to give you around this video on the page that's going to send you to a free checklist that I have for you. It's called 11 Copyright Basics Entrepreneurs and Small Business Owners Must Consider. 11 Copyright Basics that entrepreneurs and small business owners must consider. 
And so it's really a bunch of questions for you to kind of wake you up and say, hey, do I do this? Yes or no. Am I good at this? Yes or no. Do I offer this? Yes or no. And it's going to wake you up. And uh, it's going to lead to something where I'm going to offer you a a conversation with you, a 30-minute conversation, where I'm not going to tell you what to do because, look, you've been to a lot of these free seminars and these free workshops, and they talk to you, give you some kind of insights for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then it's about it's a 45-minute sales pitch, right? I'm not going to do that. I'm not interested in that. What I want to do is show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to use your copy. I'm going to take a piece of some of the copy you use right now, and I'm going to restructure it with you and show you what it can look like. And that is the best way to learn. That is the best way to learn. So Dave Breslow, good to be with you here on this dose of Dave. Pleasure again with you. Um, take a look at these in, in car videos. I think you'll find them pretty humorous after this. Uh, really good to talk to you about this information about copywriting and how important it really is for all entrepreneurs, all small business owners. And again, it's not just the writing. It's the way you talk about yourself, the way you present yourself in videos, in, uh, in radio, in promotional pieces, sales pages, web pages, whatever it might be. So Dave Breslow, glad to be with you once again. And I'll look forward to talking to you real soon. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.